guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today we are going to draw Barley Lightfoot from Disney Pixar's new movie, Onward. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it was in theaters and now it's available to buy. Not exactly sure when it's available to rent or buy on DVD, but who knows, it might be soon. Everything's up in the air right now, but let's go ahead and get started on drawing Barley, Chris Pratt's character. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and start laying out Barley's overall body. All right, well, you're not gonna have a problem like we did with Ian either. So Barley has a very square head. Okay, we're gonna start off with the square part of his face. Kinda of round that in. Bring this up here and go down and into his head. Then I'm just gonna lightly draw through his head, make a bit of a rectangle here, and a rectangle kind of go in here. And then from going back, bring out his shoulder, and then I'm gonna circle in. So I circled in, and that's just the ultimate <laughs> part of his upper arm. And I think he's wearing a cast. I have not seen the movie yet. I'm not sure why he's wearing a cast. So I'm gonna bring up this part of his upper arm that's going into his hand. That is mostly his cast being cut off here and his shirt's being cut off here. Now from this part that I drew up here, I'm gonna bring this part down, go in, and I'm gonna draw through here through his arm, bring that down, go back up into this part of his body, and I'm gonna bring this one down, bring out his leg short here, go out and back in, and bring this part up. And then I'm gonna round off this part of his leg up, go into here, and then I'm going to bring, see how I kind of like roughly placed his shoe and his knee. He's got short looking legs from what, it, what I can tell, and a round off up here, which will ultimately be the rounded off part of his kneecap, and bring out this part, and then one leg shoe is coming out a little bit more towards us. So this one's coming towards us, that means they'll be on alternating levels. First, let's go ahead and draw that middle guideline and then our eye guideline. And his face, like I said, he's a very boxy looking guy. So his face is very, very boxy. So starting off where his eye line is, we're gonna go ahead and make one eye here. And it's not as round as Ian's. It's kind of got like a sunset, sunrise kind of vibe to it. So you make it nice and rounded here. Make the sunset here. And then from here where the nose ridge is gonna go, you're gonna make this eye here. Still make it on the same level bring up this part of his eye and bring up this part and make sure it's on the same level went ahead and adjusted that and then from right here you're just gonna draw a really big circle not too big it's not as big as Ian's nose but that's as big as we're gonna draw his nose then I'm gonna draw a circle right here, and I'm going to draw a circle right here. I'm going to keep placing where stuff needs to go on his face. So I'm going to go right up to here where a corner of his mouth is going to go. I'm going to make another corner over here because he has really strong dimples. We're going to go down underneath his nose. Go to that middle part, kind of start in the middle part, go all the way back and circle up into that dimple. Then you're going to bring this part down and 
and go, we're gonna actually bring it up just a little bit more, bring that up. I'm actually gonna go right down here and close off that side. And like with Ian Lightfoot's tutorial that I did a tutorial on, I'm not going to draw all these individual jagged teeth. I'm going to just draw a simple line. So I'm gonna go underneath. back up in. There's one line of row of teeth. And then from the bottom of his mouth, another row of teeth. And I'm going to just draw his tongue kind of hiding back here behind this row of teeth. Very expressive barley, very expressive looking smile. <laughs> From his nose and the nose ridge, we're actually going to draw his eyebrows first. So starting from up here, his eyebrows are kind of all the way up, nice and caterpillar-like. Same over here, bring up this caterpillar-like. And then from this part of his side of his face from his eyebrow. We're gonna go down and then out, round off that cheek. Bring that all the way down. You're gonna curve in for his chin. And then his neck, you can barely see his neck over here. For the nose ridge, now that we have his eyebrow, you're gonna bring down this nose ridge, nice harsh line, going out into his nose, and you're gonna round it off right here. Jump up in here and you got your nostril. Bring that up in, bring it up here. And I'm gonna draw that line again so we can shade it later on. And his dimples are kinda of connected to his nose in a way. What we're gonna do next is over here, you're gonna bring back his little beanie, whatever this hat is called, beret. I'm not sure, I think it's a beanie. So we're gonna bring this back and go in. And for right now, underneath here, I'm gonna bring up this part. For his, ha his hair is going in all kinds of different directions. So it's different from Ian's. Barley's hair is kind of straight and it's floofy in different spots. So it's gonna kind of go off to the side. It's got a couple of wispies over here, a couple of wispies up here. Out this way, bring out this part. And then in the middle of his little beanie, you're gonna bring up one part and you got all kinds of wispies and other pieces of hair going in different spots. And bring down this one. All kinds of wispies. And you bring it all the way down. He just reminds me of Jack Black for some reason. <laughs> and then from underneath his beanie, you have the point of his beanie here. And you've got his ear off to the side and go back into his head. Bring it out and in. And we've got that little earlobe definition. And we got earlobe definition down here. And then for his neck, his neck's just gonna go down this side and his chin's like right here. So his hair is literally in straight wispies everywhere. So you got a couple of wispies going there, a couple up here. go and we'll shade in his face later on let's keep piecing together the rest of his body so from his ear and we got oh also from his ear you got some pieces of hair that are hanging out back here as well he's got hair everywhere and back here behind his neck 
You're gonna round off his collar, his jean collar. Go into his arm, back from his arm. So his jean collar right here, and then you're gonna branch off from underneath the collar. This is part of his jean collar as well. So back from here, you're gonna round down this part. And then you're gonna round off the part where his shirt's cut off. Round this out this way, and then back in. And this part of, we're gonna actually bring this up just a little bit more of his arm. And this is his black part of his shirt. So the thing with Barley's it's a vest, it's like a cut off jean jacket. So he's got like little wispies around where his vest is, going around his black shirt. So here's his shirt and we can kind of give that sleeve cut off right there. And then we're gonna connect this arm here, this part. So here is his elbow. We can kind of make that little distinction for an elbow. Round off going back in. He's not exactly muscular. So we're just gonna kind of leave this all bunched in together. <laughs> and then this underneath his arm for his vest, you're gonna close off that vest and go in there. And then this part of his vest, it gets cut off. You're gonna cut it off, go up, and then down. And this part goes up to where this would meet. So you can see, you can kind of draw through his arm to see where that's cut off. All right, let's finish his arm before we get into detail on his jean vest. His arm right here is cut off because it's in a black cast. So we're gonna go up, round this off here, Make it nice and round and kind of bring this off to the side. We don't see most of his hand because it's inside of this cast, but we can kind of see the thumb cut off. And he's got a fist, so I'm gonna go up and in. And then I'm gonna bring up this part of his fist. So you go up, bring this in, go in. We're gonna go up in here, bring this part in. this in and right here. So this is just his clamped fist. And I'm just gonna make differentiate, just kind of cut off the side. So his thumbs going in. that this cast is completely covering that part. There we go. Now to make us look like a cast, you're gonna go around, kind of give it those wrapped around looks. And then this part of his vest goes out and in. I'm gonna bring down this part too. So this is his shirt, but this is the other part of his vest that's kind of going outwards and then back in. This fist over here, we're just gonna kind of round it off to the side. And we have another big fist here. But this arm is not covered in a cast, but like some kind of wristlet with spikes on it. Total rocker, all right. So we're just gonna leave this off right here. Let's go ahead and draw this fist. Rounding off the top here. We're gonna bring this in, round this down. Bring this in here and go up. Now we can see a full hand. So this part's gonna go out and in. I'm gonna round this part down. 
here, go down and in. can't go wrong with making this more of a square shape and just breaking it up into pieces. I'm gonna round off the bottom of his fist, kind of bring that in, and then he has this spike wristlet. So I'm just gonna lightly go through and kind of draw a couple of the spikes. And that's all we can see. I kind of lightly went in and just erased the little things just so we can kind of just see a clearer look of his fist. When I divide the fingers going in, it's just for shading purposes, but ultimately his thumb is covering up the first part of his fist. So it bent down and over. And this part of the fist is just kind of going in. So his thumb is overlapping that forefinger and it goes out and then down, goes out. And we can see a couple of lines here. This one is hidden behind that thumb, this one's tucked in, and this one's tucked in as well. That's why I like to kind of go in and shade the fingers. And then bring out and go back in. And then we just, we don't see much of the bottom of his actual hand. So we can go ahead and just shade this all in. And to kind of define it a little bit more, we can just make mark off that thumb. Now for his wristlet, for the spikes, you're just gonna go around and give like little nubs of spikes. You can even just draw a couple circles. Not to be that defined, but they, it is a spiked wristlet. And then you have the jean jacket that's kind of off to the side. I will not draw all these patches on his jean jacket. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly kind of place where the patches are. We have a circle in the bottom corner of this jean jacket. We have a word here. And then we have a pocket here. And then another patch here. I don't even know what any of these mean. Druid Majesty smote, and this definitely looks like the World of Warcraft dice ball. I, I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> okay? And then we have another patch that we can see over here. I'm gonna draw what the jean jacket looks like. <laughs> so we got one part of the jean jacket coming down to here. The lining of the jean jacket, you're gonna go underneath, and you have a button off to the side. The jean jacket's gonna go this way, out, and you're gonna go back in front. So we can only see the definition of the jean jacket on this side, we can't see it over here. This side has the button slots, or whatever they're called, to put the buttons in. And you can kinda go through and you can kinda make this a little agey and make it more of a jean jacket by going around, adding a couple like rivet places. This is his black shirt. And his black shirt kind of rests comfortably on top of his jeans. It doesn't really have, he has a design on the front, but we cannot see the design. I'm gonna go in, just lightly shade all of that. All right, now for his shorts. So we see the top part of his shorts right here. And then we're gonna kind of bring down this side, go out and then define this a little bit more. Go in towards his leg. 
This part of his short is hugging the side of his leg. You're gonna go out and then back in. And they're cargo shorts, so that means we got this funny little pocket off to the side. Goes down. Make that top part of the, the pocket. Bring out this side. Bring this one down. Something's in the pocket. Go out. Bring this down. And then you've got the line top of the cargo short right there. And then we've got a couple of creases here. And then this part of his pants is gonna go out. And it's gonna go in front a little bit more. See how I turned up the line? Go out. Another cargo short pocket. So I'm gonna make it go outwards and then back in. So it's kind of off to the side since this foot is facing us more than this side. So we got this top pocket going up over. Bring this in. And then we're gonna line this part of the cargo short as well. And I'm not making any straight lines, notice that, because he is in this stance. So he's got all kinds of creases going around. So nothing should be like in a straight line. Everything should have some kind of disarray or disturbance and wrinkle or fold because he's in this kind of power stance. All right, for his feet, he has, we don't have that much of legs to draw. We have a knee going in here. We have this part of his leg coming out and then this part of his leg coming out. We're gonna round off the bottom here. And that's where we can see one sock. Let's jump over here. And this part's going in. And that means that's a knee here. This part is hugging from the side of the pants. Gonna round this off. Round this off here. And here's another sock. He looks like he has these ginormous vans or converse, I'm not exactly sure. It's a style, once again, no shoelaces. Um, we're gonna start, I'm gonna try to do these shoes. I don't know why my brain's kind of freezing on these. I'm gonna go up and down, make a good division here. I'm gonna make a division here, bring out this part of the shoe, I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more, round it in. I'm still keeping the wideness of the shoe go up and round back into here. Okay, now from the bottom on top, we got that converse look. Bring this down here. We're gonna round off the sole. And then looks like either a patch or the brand of shoes on the side and the hexagon. And then we have the shoelaces, which are just crisscrossed. Oh my goodness, I cannot draw shoes. <laughs> I don't know why these are just so difficult for me to draw. Okay. So I just need to get rid of that one at the bottom. I'm just gonna draw them underneath each other. How about that? That's how I'm gonna mess this up. Okay. So there's one shoe. And his socks definitely have cute little lines. And then this sock over here. One shoe here. His socks kind of going up over the shoe. And then we're gonna round off this part. So this shoe is coming towards us. So we round off this part. Round this down. There's the sole of the shoe that we can see. And then this is the tongue up here. So you bring up the tongue of the shoe, that's this. You're gonna divide it by going off in this direction. Bring out this side. One shoelace here. And one shoelace here. See, this is easy for me cross over there. So 
So I'm actually gonna bring out this side of the shoe a little bit more. There we go. And that looks a little bit more natural looking even though these shoes are totally not natural in any way. Now, let's jump up to his face. We're gonna shade a couple of things. He's got whiskers on his chin as well. So I'm gonna go and start with shading underneath his nose, like we did with Ian. I'm gonna kinda give a couple more dimples up in the corner. Shade in his rosy cheeks. He definitely has rosy cheeks despite his blue skin. A shade up underneath his eye. Shade underneath this eye. And then he's got his little whiskers. I'm gonna lightly go in and just kind of draw in those whiskers, just a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. Typical Chris Pratt. I'm gonna color in his mouth. You don't have to go too extreme with the beard. I think it's just a typical goatee or whatever men grow on their faces and there you guys go there's how to draw barley from disney pixar's onward if you haven't seen the movie yet it is now available to buy since disney went ahead and released that a little bit earlier than expected so if you have not already i did draw ian lightfoot before we went ahead and we drew barley and here that is. And I'll leave in the information box down below the link on how to draw Ian and Barley. Now you have both of them together and you can place them together. So there you guys go. I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!